Hi, it's Darren here from Art by Darren, welcoming you to another Art Start Mixed Media Art Class. Today we are talking scruffito. What is it? How do we do it? And what do you do with a painting after you have done it? There's going to be a few more techniques in there today as well. I want to show you some uh, sponging, highlighting, we're going to be drawing a butterfly and a buddleia which is called the butterfly bush as well so it's it's an abstract uh, based on that but let's get started so this is my buddleia tree outside my studio see there's my studio do, 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 with my finger sorry about that <laughs> anyway it's winter here now so i've got a photograph So if you remember from last class, we used our leftover paint in our art journal. But you can paint this on a canvas or a board too if you'd like. So I put the teal down, it's going to be my contrasting colour and I'm just going over that with gesso. And you can basically go straight over the top because I've put that on so thinly. But then we come over with the gesso in a thicker layer and I start doing the scraffito with my palette knife. So just using the end of the palette knife to cut into that gesso. And because we've got the darker colour underneath, you can see the pattern. And as you can see, this is very loosely based on that photograph. I've just done some little squiggles for leaves. So I've grabbed some dark scene purple, cobalt blue and some white gesso just to create some darks and lights for this bud layer. You can see I've let that gesso layer dry before we've put this purple on. Uh, so I can just wipe off any mistakes that I make. So you can see when you use a sponge it creates a bit of a mess but just grab a baby wipe or a paper towel and you can wipe that off really easily. And with the sponge I've just created a light layer on top and a dark underneath. I've grabbed a small brush and just started putting little dots there for flowers. With the leftover paint I've started another page. We'll do that again next time I think. Right, so I've grabbed some watercolour crayons. I haven't used these in my art journal before, so I'm going to have a go with those. And what I'm doing is placing little dots onto the buddleia, and these are going to be our darks. You can see the flowers, they sort of have this little dark centre in them. So I'm putting that all over with these dots, and then we're going to grab a paintbrush, that small one again, and just drop water onto it. And you can see that it creates the flowers for us without really us doing any work at all. So I'm just going to go over the whole loads of the flowers just creating a flower like shape just sort of pushing getting that rounded edge in a few places. Now I come in just on the right side of these little flowers and add a little bit of white watercolour crayon and blend that as well. Then I've gone in with a white pigment ink pen to create more highlights. It sort of worked and it sort of didn't. So you can see it's making the watercolour crayons actually made it skip. So I don't know if I would use a pigment ink pen over this. The, the only place where the uh, pen is working is where there isn't watercolour, um, which is unusual. It, ink and watercolour usually works well together. So we started on our butterfly. I'll do a drawing of this so that you can just copy it. Um, here I'm sort of fiddling around. It's a, it's a strange photo. It's um, The perspective on it's a bit strange so I couldn't really work out for a while there where the body was but I sort of found it in the end. It's sort of just tucked underneath. So to draw on that in a 2B pencil and then I'm going to use some primary yellow and primary cyan, which is our primary blue, white gesso and black gesso to paint this butterfly. So you can see I'm just going in with the colour to start with. Just paint it all over really if you wanted to. Adding a little bit of white highlights in a few places. And then I'm going to grab that black gesso and come in and do the outlining. You can see this is a great little... Um, paintbrush it's a it's called an angle shader I think and this is a I want to say it's a half inch but I don't think it is it's a quarter inch um, but it's a great little paintbrush because you can paint points and 
and lines as well. So I'm just touching those colours up. You can see it looks a bit strange when you're really close up to it. You know, this is where I couldn't work out where the body was. So you can see I can just wipe it off because I've got that dry layer underneath. And I sort of worked out it was a bit of a lighter colour. So now we're going back in with our purple crown again to create the shadow underneath. Put quite a lot of uh, the watercolour on there and spread it around again with a bit of water. And I've decided I'm going to use that colour to spread out. I didn't like the edges of my flowers. They were too conical. I just wanted a little bit more shape, sort of fluttery edges. So I've gone in with some water and just spread that watercolour out a little bit further as well. <laughs> Created that shadow under our butterfly. Now I've grabbed a black ink pen just to go around the edges and clean them up. I've also outlined my little leaf shapes and stem shape and then I've just grabbed a pencil to create our heading which is you bring me joy because these butterflies I eat a lot of butterflies and bees and these little Australian honey eaters which they look exactly like a, a hummingbird but we don't call them that here they call honey eaters really gorgeous outside my window and I've just used that leftover paint on that page again. Now you can see here, oops, I have smudged it because I didn't let it dry. And I've gone in with some pastel pencil in the same colour to try and cover it up. And it really didn't do the job. So then I went in with some uh, gesso and also some green paint over the top of that at the end. So here's just a close up of the flowers and the leaves. And our little butterfly and here I just put a little bit of that green paint that I used around the title just put that sort of for the leaves you can see now I've covered it all up and I had a little bit of white ink there in the downward strokes of the letters as well so there is our butterfly our scraffito and I'm using watercolor crayons I hope you enjoyed that class today if you want more information please go to my website for my Art Start Mixed Media Art classes and my courses as well. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe to Awaken Your Creativity. Bye for now. Darren here from... Oh, I'm looking at myself. Darren here. <laughs> Come on, here we go. Hi, I'm Darren from Art by Darren, welcoming you to another Mixed Media. Oh, no, an Art Start. Oh, jeez. Green mouth.